Hello, welcome back to a new video about the automatic antenna tuner, the MAT10 that I did an unboxing video last week. Um, the last video was a quick unboxing. I'm going to try to go a little bit more in depth uh, with the tuner uh, today. Yesterday I did some QSOs on HF with um, a really bad antenna and I did some amazing results. Um, I didn't expect uh, to do that well uh, with two and a half watts yesterday. Um, today I have a little setup here. I have the tuner, I have the FT817ND uh, from Yezu and I have an um, MFJ uh, dummy load uh, setup here. So um, I can show you a little bit around. Afterwards I'm going to open up the tuner so we can see the insides. I already did. And I'm gonna tell you more about it later. So first of all, really important to know is that you first need to put on the transceiver, otherwise the tuner won't recognize the internal software between the two through the CAT cable uh, that is provided. It's a full automatic, so it will um, put it in FM mode first uh, to make a tune and it's all done automatically. So that's really nice. Um, so first of all, we're gonna put on the radio. Afterwards, you're gonna long press for three seconds the tuner. You can also check the battery if you short press it. It's totally full. I charged it yesterday. So three seconds to put it on. One second to make a tune because it's a demi load it will tune really quickly yesterday I got some really really quick tunes I mean in the one max two second range uh, between um, 20 meters and 40 meters <coughs> so it worked really well with a random wire antenna with a 9.1 uh, uh, balloon attached to it it was a really bad setup uh, but it worked just fine so that's uh, a little bit more about the tuner so like I said before uh, the tuner works uh, between 1.8 and uh, 45 megahertz between one, uh, 0 0.1 watts and 30 watts maximum power uh, it states here that the tuning power requires 0 0.5 to 5 watts so I don't know what they mean about that but um, I'm gonna find out later. Um, you got uh, 16,000 uh, frequency memories that really works well. Uh, the two built-in batteries, the 10440 lithium batteries, I did like three days of QRP uh, without re recharging. It was not 100% full to begin with, so I'm really happy with, uh, with that uh, results also. So in the next uh, step I'm gonna open it up and we're gonna take a li little quick look to the quality build because I'm really really impressed with it. So next step I'm gonna open this up. I don't gonna show you that because it will take like two minutes to do that. So I'm gonna open it up and I will be back in a jiffy. Bye bye. So you get the four screws in the back, it's a metal housing, it's really sturdy, so that's also a thing I really like about it. Um, there's a charge port in the bottom, so let's open it up. You take the back off, there you go. So like you can see the insides. It's really neat build. Um, I can see um, RU switchers here. Or how do you call it? Relays. Relays in English. I'm sorry for my English. My English is not my native language. So I'm trying my best to do it as clear as possible. So the inside of the tuner looks like this. I'm gonna check if it's all in focus. I think so, yes. 
So you get uh, some uh, couplings here. You get the, um, the the switches, the relays. Sorry, you get the two cells here. And for so far, I can see for all I know, it's a really really well built. Uh, I don't have complaints uh, with that here. So that's the inside. You got the two two lithium batteries. It's not the best batteries that they uh, supply with because they are supplied um, in shipping. I was a little bit astonished with that because normally they don't send over lithium batteries uh, with airmail, but they did. So you get the two batteries here. It's supposed to be a, a thousand milliamperes. I tested them yesterday. They were empty yesterday, so I charged them in my separate charger. And it was maximum like 450 milliamperes per battery. So I will change those in the future when they're broken or like really um, not uh, performing performing uh, as well as normal. So I will change those in the future. Uh, but after, um, but that's all. Um, I'm really um, pleased with the build quality of the PCB, the switches, the quality of the switches, the relays, I mean, the couplers, they're all wind really well. This one is a little bit crook, but doesn't matter that much. They all put the the glue on it, so it wouldn't move, so it can break, uh, it can't break. Um, so no, I'm, I'm really happy with the build of uh, this little tuner. Um, and that's all I can say about it. Um, there is only also one thing that you know that you need to know is that if you pull the batteries out, um, the system will go in a lockdown, in a kind of lockdown. So if you pu put new batteries in, you need to put the charger plug also back in. Otherwise, it wouldn't uh, fire up. Uh, it wouldn't do anything. So uh, that's a neat thing to uh, to know. It took me like five minutes to uh, to figure that out yesterday. So you get a battery indicator stating that it's all full, and for the rest, it's a really simple tuner. It's uh, you got three functions on it, and don't have much to say about it about uh, this uh, tuner. So um, I'm gonna finish this video here. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe to my channel. It's a new channel. There's a lot of work uh, to do with the channel But I'm trying my best to give you neat videos about neat uh, little Ham radio stuff. So uh, they're gonna see a lot of more videos in the future I hope you liked it and I wish you all the best 73s. Bye. Bye